Hey guys, welcome back to Moving Cardboard. I'm going to try once again to beat Ungoliant's Lair, which is the next number five, I think I'm at. The fifth homemade scenario, fan made scenario by Ninja Dorg. And, uh, and of course, last week I tried it and failed miserably. It's a tough one. Uh, it's a tough one. So, basically, in this one, you have to pace yourself. And the farther you go, there are more greater restrictions on what you can play. So I make, make it through one step, and then I can no longer play allies. Make it through another step, and then I can no longer play allies or attachments. The ones that are in play are fine, but they cannot be played anymore. So I have to advance my board state. And I'm having to fight Mongolian spawn repeatedly. So I have to advance my board state well enough to defeat Mongolian spawn over and over again. I've changed up my heroes. I really am trying to keep Aragorn. He's got 12 threat, 10, so I'm at 22. I'm at 31 threat with Eowyn, which is more than 30. I feel like I might have to switch out Aragorn. I'm going to really try again and see if I can get it done with him. But I don't know if I can get it done. Uh, just because in, in terms of keeping my threat down so that I can advance my board state without enemies jumping all over me. That's why I would want it lower. But I just feel like the Eowyn, Barovor, Theodrid is just... I really want to explore, you know. It just seems like, ah, oh, come on. I want, I want to play with Aragorn. I want to play with other heroes. I'd like to play without these guys. But I need the card draw. I need to get to my cards... I would like to deck myself so that I have all my options as quickly as possible. But let's get to it, shall we? So, I've got to get 10 quest points here. So I read this in my last video, so I won't read it again. But basically, when I went through uh, the Elven Embassy, I met with the king, and he knows where Ungoliant spawn, the, the uh, lair is. So now we're going to the lair. And I need 10 progress tokens to advance. And when I get 5, the spawn comes out. So I'll give this one last shuffle. And see how we do. And I'll give myself resources also. Okay, three, six cards do I want to keep? Okay, well, I'd love to keep him. Unexpected Courage, I would love to keep that. Valiant Sacrifice, see, maybe I shouldn't keep, because I don't want allies to die, but if they do, at least I'll get card draw. Um, this is, you know, decent. Uh, this, is gonna, this guy's going to be very useful, especially to have him out of the gate. So, I'll keep it, I guess, and I'll draw for turn, get my other Hammersmith, and turn one I'll use her resource to play Hindemarth River Song, and now Eowyn will quest, let me scooch these. Aon will quest for four. The danger of using Aon is I don't want to quest too fast. I don't, you know, I don't want the thing coming out. That's the downside to using her. In the last game I played off camera, there's times I just don't really want to quest for all, at that much. But she's kind of useless for anything else. So I might end up switching her out for, I, I don't know, done here, I don't know. But anyway. So I'm questing for four. Out comes a tower gate, two threat. If I travel here, one of my cards becomes an orc enemy. So I advance, I get two progress tokens. I'm not gonna travel there, because it's only one. I've got maybe a snowborn scout can help me out. Okay, before the end of turn, I'll tap her to draw two cards. Then snowborn scout and Gandalf. 
and I will tap him at the end of turn to reveal the top encounter card. So it's gonna be an old forest road, which is actually uh, helpful because I can ready a character I control. So whenever I use him, I just keep that card on top because I, I know what it is. So, all right, my threat now goes to 32. And I'll draw for turn. Daughter of the Nimmerdale, another one. Okay, so I'm going to play a Snowborn Scout for one Aragorn resource. Snowborn Scout will place a token on the tower gate, and it'll go in the discard. I'm going to spend two of her resources to give unexpected courage to Barivor. And those are my only plays at this time. All right. I'll quest for four. That means I'm going to, well, if I quest for four, the problem is. There's only one, so I'll place three, and then the spawn will come out, and then it will engage me. I don't want it to. So I'm going to quest for two with Bear of War. Hmm. Yeah. This comes out, and I ready her any just for free. Two on one, I place one token. I have to be very careful in this. And then... I won't travel there yet. I think I'll leave it there. And then I will tap her to draw two cards. Dwarven Tomb and Galadrim's Greeting, both good. I'll tap him to reveal the top card of the encounter deck. It's Hummer Horns. Mm. And my threat is going, it's a 40 engagement. My threat is now going to be 33 at the end of turn. So I don't really like Hummer Horns. Draw for turn. Forest Snare. I haven't gotten Steward of Gondor yet. I've got a Gandalf, so I could just spend all five and kill that thing with Gandalf, but I think I want to use Gandalf for threat reduction. I want to threat reduce as much as possible. Um, okay, so I know that's coming out, so that I know that that means I'll have two threat in the staging area. If I use her, that would bring out the Ungoliant spawn. Do I want to deal with the Ungoliant spawn yet? I don't think so. I want more allies out. I want more cards, I want more allies. I don't necessarily want to play him because I'm worried about losing. That is my only copy. But if I'm going to play him, it has to be early. It has to be before I advance. Okay, so before I do anything, I'm going to tap her to draw two cards first. Okay, there's my Steward of Gondor and a Northern Tracker. Okay, so in this deck, I think I want her to have the Steward of Gondor but just because there's so much green in the deck. I don't remember having, so I'm gonna spend his two and give her that. I'm gonna tap the Unexpected Courage to untap her just because I can. And I'll tap the Steward of Gondor, so she now has four mana. Which does mean I could put the... Uh, Ungoliant Spawn in a Forest Snare at this time, next turn. But I, don't, I still don't want to fight it, because I'd rather when I fight it, have to sac lose somebody and play Valiant Sacrifice for card draw, and I just use his used his mana. 
So with her four green, I could go ahead and play one of the Hammersmiths. Or I could play a healer. Play a healer. And I'll quest with her for two. No progress. Fine with me. And, well, let me go ahead and travel here, actually, because then I can start using Aowen again. So that'll end my turn. Uh, but I'll do this before the turn ends. Basically, I'm just going to always know what this is. So the next is the Enchanted Stream, two threat. Can't draw cards when it's the location. Threat goes to 34. Draw for turn. Sneak attack. Okay, that's useful. Just going to always give her three. I really want my Calabrian, Calabrian Stone. So I'm going to tap her straight off. I drew Hasty Stroke. And another Snowborn Scout. Man, I'd really want to use Gandalf for threat reduction. Not damage. I'm going to have two in the staging area. But yeah, I've got to kill Hummerhorns you, I, that cannot stand. So I might as well go ahead and play Sneak Attack. Well, I guess I don't have to play it now. I'll quest first. Uh, unexpected Courage to bring her back up. I'll quest for four. Three and one token goes there. After the quest phase, I'll do the sneak attack. Put him out just to kill kill the Hummerhorns. That's the only thing he's doing. And that's a victory card. Goes over here. Then he comes back to my hand. And I'll look at the top card again. Dogolder orcs are next. Deal two damage to the character. Well, well, that's not bad. She'll take two damage, which I can heal. So I'll end my turn. Up to 35. Draw for turn another Gandalf. I'm going to draw two cards. Clay Wine. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That's one of the cards I'm looking for. I'm going to play Clay Wine. I need to give everybody their mana. One, one, two. So we've got two Gandalfs, two Northern Trackers, I think. I thought I had two Gandalfs. Didn't I just draw a Gandalf? Yeah, I got two Gandalfs. Two Gandalfs, two Northern Trackers. Okay, I can play, I can now play I'm going to use Glaywine to draw another card. Miner of the Iron Hills. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and play um, Gift of the Galadrum. Three reduces my threat by six. So I'm at 29. Unexpected courage to stand her back up. Mm. 
I think I'm, well, I'm going to have to engage these guys. I'll sacrifice a Snowborn Scout and draw two cards off of it. There's four in the staging area. I can quest for four. That's all I'm going to quest for, I think. Engagement check. He will engage. I will block with this Snowborn Scout. Deal him a shadow card. No shadow effect. He dies. Because two will eat that up. Then I'll spend the one. Play Valiant Sacrifice. Draw two more. Still no stone. And then uh, attack phase, I need to do three damage. So Aragorn will attack and kill the Dolgold or Orcs. End of my turn, he'll tap so that I can see. Okay, Cotton Web comes up next. Up to 30. Draw for turn, another Gandalf. So I could do two different things. I could, well, I could cancel that with, um, but I'm not going to cancel it. I'm going to let it happen and then play Miner of the Iron Hills because there's going to come a time I can't play allies, but I'll still be able to play events and I'll have my things that let me do that. Okay, so first off, we're going to draw two cards. There it is. Then I'm going to draw another card, another Student of Gondor. So I need that so I can give him a spirit icon. That's the main reason this is here. That's why I gave her the Steward of Gondor. Because once I give him that, then I'm getting more. Uh, so he's not, he can't play a card this turn, basically. Because I need to save that. What other plays will I do? I can play another one of her for three. I know I'm going to play next turn a minor. One, two, three, four, five. I might as well just go ahead and get a hammersmith out. I feel like. Yeah, I mean. But I can also wait. There's no rush. So I know that this is two, so if I quest, so I can go to quest phase. Let's stand her back up with unexpected courage. Oh, let's draw another card with Glaowine. I got the other Glaowine, don't need that. Alright, so I'm going to quest for four. So I know this is coming out. I will give it to... Let's give it to her. Uh, four minus two is two, one, two. So Old Forest Road is explored. Okay, I think I, think I might be doing okay. I think I'm doing it just you have to be slow and steady to be slow and steady so she's caught in a web and then at the end of the turn I'll take a look again one player hit a Martha River song is amazing uh, mountains of Mirkwood to threat okay everybody's gonna untap she's already untapped I'm back up to 31 draw a card for turn another hasty stroke and I'm just going to give her three. She's going to spin two, so I'm going to just give her one. Because that's going to go away, because I'm going to play this. There's a lot of cards. Where is he? Miner of the Iron Hills. Probably running out of camera space. And then I will also play the Calabrian Stone on Aragorn. So it's kind of like Spirit Acceleration. Because I'm gonna, I need to get my Northern Trackers out. Those are good cards. I mean, they're good cards in any way. Well, let me go ahead and tap for, to draw two more. Another Forest Snare. The other Greeting. I'll use Glaowine. Test of Will. Got 
both northern trackers in my hand. I'll be able to play one next turn if I want. Okay. Unexpected courage, stand her back up. So I know if I quest with just her, I will make no progress. Okay, how many allies do I want to play? I want to play all of them. I won't be able to use Gandalf regardless. So I might as well try to play him for threat reduction this turn. Let's see here. I could quest. For four, six. If I quest for six, the spider comes out. Right? I optionally engage it, play Gandalf to block. And then put it in a far snare next turn. So I'm going to quest for six. Um, there's four, so two go on here. Mongolian spawn is now put in play because I have five. So I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to not travel. I'll optionally engage Mongolian spawn. Or hang on. So actually, I have to do that in the planning phase. I'm not using sneak attack. One, two, three, four, five. So I played Gandalf in the planning phase. Forgot about that. He reduces my threat by five. To 26, I optionally engage and I will declare Gandalf as the blocker regardless of shadow effect. Discard an attachment from the defending character. There is none. Gandalf takes a damage and then I can go ahead and get in an attack with the miner has one, two, three. That's not enough to yeah, that'll do one damage to the spider, to the spawn. With Barovor, I'm not using him. Okay, now Gandalf will go away at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, I'm going to use him to look at the... Necromancer's Pass is next. You have to discard two cards at random. I don't like that card at all. And untap everybody. Go up to 27. Draw for turn. I forgot to use Glaia once. Now I have Sneak Attack. <clears throat> okay, so in my quest phase this turn, let's go ahead and tap her to draw two and Glaia wanting to draw a third. Faramir. I didn't remember putting him in here. Okay. I guess I did. Another minor. Okay, so oh, I need to give everybody their resources. Three, one. Well, first things first is just put that thing in a forest snare so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to be able to play attachments in the end game anyway. Okay, do I want to play Northern Tracker now? Probably. Because it's not going to attack. I don't need to worry about shadow effects or when revealed effects right now, so. Let's go ahead. Where is the Northern Tracker? Play Northern Tracker. Unexpected Courage her to stand back up. Ah, well, he doesn't have a resource to do the sneak attack this turn, but that's okay. So I'm going to quest with the Northern Tracker, which will put progress here and here. Two, four, five, six, seven. So four plus four. Did I do my quest phase last time right? I don't think I did. I think I only did six. Should be That's eight. That's nine right there. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
So I'm questing for nine. That comes out, I've got two that I can put here. So now that he's in the snare, I can manage this. Um, then I'll use him to take a peek. Forest spider, so that's going to fight me next turn. And attacks on the guy. I can attack him for three again with the miner and Barivore. And then I'll untap everybody. Mm. Okay, so let me do it. Go up to 28. Okay, I've decked myself at this point. Uh, I'm afraid of losing attachments, but Airborne Hammersmith is good. I want to make sure I have him out. And I want to, okay, this turn I will use Sneak Attack, Gandalf, for Threat Reduction, and then he'll also attack um, that Spider, I guess, when it comes out. So when do I want a Sneak Attack? I want a Sneak Attack. I'm going to have nine in the staging area, so four plus six, eight, Nine, well actually I'm not going to have nine in the staging area because that's going to be explored immediately because of the Northern Tracker. So I'm questing for nine again. This comes out. Four, seven, two go on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, engagement. He comes down. Now I'll play Sneak Attack and Gandalf. Come here, Gandalf. Playing him for Threat Reduction. Down to 23. And I'm going to use him to block. No show, no effect. He goes back to my hand. Attacking on this guy, I need a total of five attack strength to take him out. One, two, three, four. Got I use? Ah, damn. I'm just gonna attack with four. This is guy. That's too useful. Four attack strength. So he's only gonna have three wounds. I'll just have to live with that. I'll end the turn. 24. <clears throat> Next turn I can play this other Northern Tracker, which I definitely want to do, and I definitely want to play... Well, I don't know if Faramir is going to make it onto the battlefield. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got three healers out. Two miners. Northern Tracker, a Hammersmith. That was all her mana. Ah, oh, I forgot to look at the top card of the shadow deck. Okay, so we're going to quest with the Northern Tracker. I'm going to quest for nine again, I guess. That's going to actually clear both of these things because of the Northern Tracker's ability. Okay, it's that guy who's going to come down and fight me. 
He's got an attack of three. I don't want to lose any allies. An attack of three. You know, I should probably spend this to ready him. But I didn't do it before doing that. I should have done it immediately. So, okay, so the Hammersmith can take a hit. She can take a hit. Three, five, minus two. She'll defend here. The Hammersmith will defend here. So East Bite Patrol gets the plus one. I was mathing that out. So it has a four attack, so it does two damage. But that's okay, I've got healers. And what does he do to the Hammersmith? Each exhausted, well, no, that's no shadow effect. So two to, it gives him one damage. Can't heal, heal so one of these will tap to heal this. Um, unexpected courage to stand her back up. Attack phase, uh, I've got, I just need to do two here. So the two miners, We'll combine to attack this and kill it. And I need to remember to use save. So she's got two, so she can do one damage to the East Bite Patrol, but it doesn't kill it. Okay, so the turn's going to come to an end. He'll tap this time. I'll remember to do with that. So I've got Dogold or Orcs coming up. Not a big thing threat really up to 25 on day attack and I've already decked myself and let's get some resources okay I'm gonna play the other northern tracker for four I'm going to play I've played just almost everything I can. I've got a snowborn, another snowborn scout. I should have two snowborn, yeah. It's going to be down to the wall. I think I can probably safely advance. I don't know that I need to wait for a chance to play the ham, the uh, these other things. So let's. I know that's coming out. I can ignore that basically. I can quest for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll quest for four, and that'll put the max 10 on that. So I'll just have to kill this. He doesn't do anything. He's going to come and attack me. I'll have Barovor block. If any player must discard an attachment, I control. That's fine with me. I'll discard this Steward of Gondor, because I think I'll just go ahead and play... If I play it on him, I can get my uh, Faramir out, who's, you know, useful, because I don't really have any green left to play. I've got another forest snare, but it can, yeah, I think that's how that's going to play out. I'll use Unexpected Courage to bring her back up, and I'll start doing some attacks, so I just need two attack strength, so she'll kill him with two attack strength, and then let's start wailing on the... Uh, Spider, but I want one. Well, I'll have to drag it out a little bit if I want to get Faramir out. Three, so let's see, he's got uh, seven, nine, I need six, nine damage to kill him. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could kill him this turn. Or wait two turns just so that I can get Faramir out and have as many allies as possible. So I'll do three. I'll do seven damage. Five. Seven minus two is five. So 
So two more damage and it dies. And my turn will end. I'll go up to 26 threat. Place my tokens. No, I don't want to play it out of my hand. I want to I want to play the Hammersmith to get this out to Does it matter? Well, I want to play the Hammersmith anyway. But something let me I'll play it out of my hand. And then I'll tap it to give him two mana, so he still has two mana. Okay. I don't want to play this yet. I think I'm just going to... I keep forgetting to do that. I'll just quest for... Four. Okay, no progress. This... I have to exhaust a character I control. I'll choose Barivor and then use Unexpected Courage to bring her back. This will engage me. It does three... I'll have Bear of War block it. So Bear of War will take a damage, which I can heal. I'll just heal it. And then let's attack this thing. I need four damage. Three, four, five. Some of the trackers are great with that two attack that they have. That's dead. Quick turn. Let's use him. Remember to use him. We got a tower gate coming up next. I don't need to make progress, so I'll just uh, go to 27. Quest phase, next turn, she'll quest for four. No progress, so let me make sure. I'm, I'm starting to get ahead of myself now because I can kind of see, like, I'm ready to just start pushing, actually. All right, all right, all right. So let's play Faramir. I think I've got this one. I think it just, you just really have to, it's like others one where you have to really manage things. I got my stuff out. I hope I haven't accidentally broken any rules. Um, you know, I could just go ahead right now. Now I could play the other Galadrum's Greeting for three, reduce my threat to 21. The only green I have now left is the other Hammersmith, which I'm going to... I might as well play. I actually just might as well just play it. If I lose an attachment, I lose an attachment. I've got, like, all of my allies out now, except for these Snowborn Scouts. Do I, is it worth it to wait around to get them out? They're kind of good cannon fodder. Let's go one more turn. Okay, so I already did questing, and then I remembered I skipped planning. So I'm questing for four, that's what came out. No change. I won't attack you yet. End of turn, I will look at this. It's the Dogolder Jailer, and I go to 22. One, one, and he always gets three now. I'll just play both of these Snowborn Scouts. Put a thing here that gets explored. Okay, so now... So the Gandalfs are going to be dead in my hand. Now it's time to go ahead and like do it. So I'm going to quest for four. He comes out. Nope, I don't need any progress. And now I'll just swing to kill this thing. I've got enough. I don't need to like math it out so he dies. All right. Moving on. Finally. For like the first time ever. Well, I've gotten this far. So Twisted Caverns now. 
Racing away from the gathering forces of spiders and orcs outside, you rush into the darkened caverns. Moving carefully through the webbed tunnels, your route to the surface is now cut off. I can no longer play allies. Twisted caverns. From the darkness of the twisting passageways ahead, an enormous shape scuttles to and fro, bearing an uncanny resemblance to the foe you just defeated. This is the exact same, except now I can't play allies. So I'm ready, though. To rush through this. End of turn, I'll tap him to take a look. So it's another forest spider. All right, untap. I go to 23. I gain resources. All right, so I'm actually going to. Can't play ally. So I'm going to take these ally cards. Well, I can use them to discard for, to her. I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to spend one for Dwarven Tomb to get his greeting back. And I'm going to spend three to play that greeting, reduce it by six. To 17. I don't know if I've ever had it this low before. Okay. So he won't engage. Um, let's go ahead and just start questing like crazy. Four, I'll discard a Gandalf to make her five. To quest for five. Quest for nine. That'll be four. And I'll use a northern tracker. So I'm going to quest for 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Quest for 10. 2, 4, 5. I'm going to put a 5 there. So the spider will come out. I'm going to optionally engage Ungoliant Spawn. I'm going to throw a scout in front of it. No shadow effect, spawn dies. And I will attack this spider for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For nine, minus two is seven. Okay, end of turn, I'll tap him. To see, okay, another forest spider's coming up, which won't engage me because my threat is 18. New turn. I'm gonna have two, four, seven in the staging area. Four. Discard five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Eleven. Questing for eleven. This comes out. Two, four, six, seven, four go on. What am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at nine. And oh, yeah. I wanted to put that in a far snare. So it doesn't attack, and then I trivially kill it. Well, do I want to actually engage anything? I think I do. Um, I'll engage this guy. So who's going to block? The scout will block. I have to raise my threat by two because I'm engaged with two enemies. He'll kill the scout and then, okay. So for killing this, I need to get five attack and I need to get four attack to kill him. 
So I've got four attack. The two northern trackers have combined four attack. They'll kill him. And there's two, three, four, five, six. There's two, four. So Mongolian spawn is dead again. Okay, okay. And then I'll use his power to look at the top card. Another Dogol, the Beastmaster. Untap, untap, untap. I'm up to 21. So I need one more. The spider comes out. We're going to have two, four, six, seven in the staging area. So I'm going to quest for four. Discard Gandalf. Five, six, seven. How much do I need? Two, four, six, seven. I need to quest for eight. Five, six, seven. I'll use Glaywine. That's eight quest. Everybody else is untapped. One of those. Two, four, six, seven. So I place one. That completes the quest. It's going very fast now. Final stand. The caverns open up again into a gigantic gigantic underground spider lair with orc minions all around tending to the spider's needs in an unholy alliance. Allies or attachments may no longer enter play or be put in play. So that, I mean, that negates like um, sneak attack because that puts an ally into play. Okay, so final stand is 10. A massive silver thread descends from the ceiling and the spiders and orcs around you begin to frenzy as a huge dark shadow falls over you. When five progress tokens have been placed on the card, put the spawn back into play. If it's defeated, shuffle it back into the encounter deck. So that's different from putting it aside. Okay, so that means it could just keep coming out. No cats. There's not a cat here. The cat's in the Tranquil Glade. So I quested, I did that. Okay, do I want to optionally engage one of these guys? I don't think so. I think, I mean, I'm going to be able to get so much quest I can overcome just about any of it. But I'll optionally engage this forest spider. And I'll block with a northern tracker. It has two damage to his two armor. I have to discard an attachment I control. Um, I guess Steward of Gondor. Wow, where did all my cards go? Wow, well, this is all I have left. Yeah, I'll just discard Steward of Gondor. I want to expect the courage, and I want to be able to use his mana. Um, though the trigger doesn't take any damage. And then let's just kill this thing. And I need five, two, five. Aragorn and Barabor kill it. Next turn. 22. Oh, tap him. Shackled is going to be next. So I'm going to have two, four, five in the staging area. So let's try to quest for 15. Four, five, six. I'm going to use Faramir to give everybody plus one. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then one of the miners makes fifteen. So I'm questing for fifteen. So this is what comes out. Two, four. So I've got ten on here. It's completed. The spawn. This goes onto the top of my deck, which I'm decked out anyway. The spawn comes out. Okay, spawn. I will engage the spawn. And I'll block with this miner. The miner's gonna get killed. I have to raise my threat by one. So I'm at 23. I'm kinda glad I have these high costed enemies out here. The poor miner dies. Can I do 11? Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, I can do nine damage, which will be seven wound tokens. Um, 
I'm not using him because I want to use him to look at the top card of the encounter deck for next time. Discard all event cards. Well, I'm going to have to cancel that when that happens. Yeah. Turn ends, I'm up to 24. So I should handily win the game uh, this turn. I don't even need to quest, but I probably should. Two, four, five. That would make my threat 29. No one will engage me, so I won't even quest. I'm not even going to quest. This is revealed. I need to give everybody their mana, but it it's immaterial. I spend that to play test of will to cancel that win revealed effect but it doesn't matter because I'll be I'll win this time around he will attack the who will block this time this hammersmith will block hammersmith dies and I just seven He's got seven damage, he got two hit points left with two armor, so I need to generate four attack. So that'll swing, that'll kill the spawn. And it gets shuffled back into the encounter deck, but I already had ten on here. So she lobs gloom. Oh man, I didn't think I was gonna beat this one. With with a final devastating blow, the giant spider is defeated. With the death of their leader, the spiders and orcs all around you scream and rage as they run and fear from you. Victory at last. As the last orc flees, he shrieks a single harrowing word that causes you to shiver. Shelob. Congratulations, you defeated Ungoliant Slayer. Well, that was fun. That was, you know, engaging. Um, it just took, I guess, really, the reason I was having trouble with this when I've played it... Um, this is the first time I beat it. I played it like six times. It is just the pacing. I wasn't getting the pacing and the timing down just right. Uh, it helped with the card draw, being way aggressive on the card draw. And just focusing on, I'm not going to advance this. Uh, getting him out in my opening hand probably made the difference. So there's a little bit of luck involved. Because with him, I could know what was coming up to help manage... You know, because I would quest with her a lot, and sometimes, you know, oh, nothing really came out. Oh, oh crap, now she loves, or the spawn's coming out, and I didn't want it to come out yet. So managing that pretty much made this a cakewalk, I think, being able to manage that encounter deck and know exactly where I stood before I even quested. And I didn't get any surge effects or anything like that. So there you go. That's the last Ninja Dorg custom scenario. There's one that he made after this that he made when, and this one's like longer. It's like eight steps. And this one utilizes the uh, Hunt for Gollum, and I don't think he made any more after that. So I'm excited to play this one as well. I'll get to this one a little bit later. I might wait to get a second core set and make a deck having that available to me along with Hunt from Gollum cards. But either way, I'll incorporate some Hunt for Gollum cards when I do this one. Um, well, that's it. I'm, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I'm sure it was long. I have no idea how long I've been doing this, but thanks for watching.